I got excited today because Melissa Joan Hart, AKA Sabrina freaking Spellman. Magic! Magic! Followed me on Twitter until I realized she follows 166,000 people. Uh. Yeah, too many. <laughs> I am amazing! Yeah, you're something, all right. Exclusive. Hi, I'm Sean. Oh. Your host of Red Eye Rundown. How's that working out? Already enough. The sixth annual Chicago Craft Beer Week kicked off Thursday with over 400 events scheduled, spanning 11 days. Oh, damn, that Red Eye cover's pretty sweet. Did you illustrate that? Yeah, and it printed really well. Okay, thanks for coming by. Okay. Sorry about that. Some people enjoy micro-brewed IPAs with the freshest hops available, while other people just want to get fucked up at a Taco Bell. There is no right way! Which, oddly enough, might become a thing in Wicker Park. A new Taco Bell planned for 1439 North Milwaukee Avenue legit applied for a liquor license. And they'll get it, you know they will. Because nobody wants to shovel a 650 calorie sriracha quesarito into their face hole without first getting their BAC to 0.19 by pounding shots of El Toro and crushing cans of Modelo first. Keep in mind that the security footage already exists in a Taco Bell where liquor isn't allowed. <laughs> This should be fun. You lucky my boys on here, bro. You know, I wonder if they're gonna serve that beer at T-Bell that debuted on Inside Amy Schumer this week. Dick Hole Beer. Finally, a beer you can fuck. Tom Brady has been suspended for the first four games of next season for clearly cheating in professional sports and deflating footballs. But it'll be overturned and forgotten about and nobody will ever bring it up again, so why am I even talking about it? To me, those balls are perfect. But you know who we should talk to about this? Whoa, Red Eye Sports Editor Chris Sosa, no way. What are your thoughts? Well, I think the Patriots are actually gonna be fine without Tom Brady. <laughs> okay, thanks have... so much for coming by. Couldn't get rid of him sooner. And finally. Why the hell would he have us on his show if he's not gonna use any of it? Cause he's an asshole. Kristen Cavallari is once again pregnant with one of Jay Cutler's demon seeds. It was hard, you know, it was it was really hard. Okay, gross, Kristen. We don't need to hear about Jay Cutler's pee. We had no idea what we were doing. It's kind of funny how reliable the guy is at delivering under the sheets. Yet once he's on a patch of grass in front of a bunch of strangers, he can't find his target. Am I, am, am, am I right? I felt very, uh, very used and manipulated. You know, honestly, I don't think that your husband should make you feel that way. Once you get over that fact and realize, hey, it's something I just have to deal with, I just have to uh, be on it each and every day. Wait, 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 are you talking about marriage, fatherhood, or literally completing passes to your receivers? I don't... Uh, you get used to it. No, wait, 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 wait. which one of those? Uh, it's just a little speed bump that you'll get through and you just have to manage it each and every day. You're gonna make a great quarter... Hus dad again. Nowadays, I feel the freshest. Bad bitch ass tits like she from Texas. Lately, I get Texas from my exes. Late text, no stress, I'm too selfish.